Hello, good evening. Hi, Brenda. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Está Hello. lloviendo, no se escucha, pero están cayendo unos rayos terribles. En serio. Uy, oh, ya me imagino cómo ha de estar. Oh. Acá nada más medio pasó uh, así como nublado, pero uh, no llovió lastimosamente. Aquí parece que ya dejó de llover, pero está cayendo una tormenta eléctrica. No, ya me imagino. Sí, sí estaba viendo, uh, leyendo unos comentarios de sus compañeros de que igual por todas esas zonas han estado lloviendo bastante fuerte. Espero y pues se puedan conectar. Right? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Sí, teacher, acá también ya va a empezar a llover por si me voy, es porque me fue el internet, me fue la luz, la electricidad, obviamente. <risa> ok, ok. Good evening, Wendy. All right, so, welcome, guys, welcome. Espero y pues no tengamos inconveniente alguno, right, para el desarrollo de la clase. Yeah, because tonight we're going to have, like, a very interesting topic y pues, ah, no me gustaría que que tuviera más tanto problema, pero bueno, a veces son cosas que pues ya se salen de nuestras manos y pues no podemos hacer más. Pero bueno, mientras estemos conectados acá, right, and active, that will be great, guys. It will be great. So welcome back to another video conference. This is like the number two. Tonight we are going to be discussing a different topic comparison in comparison to the one that we were uh, you know like discussing last class but before starting with that voy a hacer un pequeño uh, espacio para tal vez sus compañeros se conectan más antes de pasar asistencia i am going to uh, start with you guys uh, making a short feedback vamos a comenzar con una pequeña retroalimentación sobre lo que estuvimos viendo la clase pasada. Bueno, al menos los que me están escuchando, ¿verdad? Right? Porque supongo que hay, uno, hay muchos que está lloviendo y no escuchan mucho. Ok, right, Isabel, thank you for letting me know. Supongo que igual no escucha mucho que se diga. Right? Ok, great. Para los que me están escuchando y pues, uh, you speak, guys. ¿Qué estuvimos discutiendo la clase pasada? Vamos a comenzar con un pequeño repaso por that. Right? What do you guys remember from last class? ¿Qué recordamos de la clase pasada? What was the most relevant that we were doing, guys? El uso de homage o homage. Ah, okay. Very good. So we were discussing the uses of how much and how many. In what situations can I use how much? Ah, for non-count nouns, right? Very good. So we were uh, just practicing a couple of questions, right? Estuvimos discutiendo un par de preguntas. Ustedes crearon luego unos ejercicios, right? Remember, right? How much is mostly for uncountable nouns. It's used mostly with uncountable nouns. What about how many? Right. Eso es con relación a how much y how many. Con nombre contable. No, okay, very good. With countable nouns, right? Generalmente recuerden que cuando mm -hmm. estamos usando how many, yeah. right? Y si vamos a usar un nombre, right? Recuerden que ese nombre tiene que estar en plural, right? It has to be in a plural form plural. in order to be included in a question, right? Yeah, as Isabel says, yeah, I mean, it's for countable nouns, the uses of how many. There you go. So tonight, as I said, we are going to be discussing a different uh, topic that is mostly for obligations, 
right? In which we are going to be discussing about obligations. Okay, but I am going to start with the attendance list. I think it's just time. It's seven o five. I'm going to start with the attendance list. Uh, in order to follow up with the topic for tonight. Uh, let me see. Selena Janet. Mm -hmm. All right. So she's not connected. Uh, Christian Eduardo. Okay, so it's not here. Denise Gerardo. Okay, not yet. Diana Carolina. Diana, Diana, Diana. All right, so just not here yet. Diego Jose. Okay, not here. Edwin Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Edwin Leonel. Present. Ah, okay, Leonel, thank you. Uh, all right, thank you. Evelyn Del Carmen. Ah, okay, good. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, thank you. Jorge Antonio. Karen Lisset. Karen, I was just not here. Uh, Carla Patricia. Present. Okay, good. Luis Humberto. Please. All right, so it's not here. Norma Jamilet. Norma, Norma, no case okay, so such as not here. Paulina Olympia. Present. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. Ronald Ulises. Present. Okay, good. Sonia Guadalupe. Is it Sonia here? No, okay, so just not here. Walter Enrique. Okay, not here. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Okay, nice. Janira Isabel. Okay, thank you, Janira. And the last one, Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Ah, okay. Very good. All right. So now, give me one second. Uh, Samsung, uh, give me one second. Okay. Hay muchos de sus compañeros que todavía tienen dificultades para entrar. All right. Okay, great. So as I said, guys, we are going to have a very interesting topic tonight, right? And it's going to be a structure that we generally use, right? When we are showing obligation, right? Which structure I am talking about? Okay, it's this one. I'm going to show you on a presentation. Okay, that's this one over here. I guess you can you can uh, see the screen, right? So it says have 
or obligations. So basically, tonight we are going to be discussing the uses of have to and has to in order to show obligations. Let's remember that we just know have as one single and um, normal verb, right? Remember, like have means tener. But in this case, when you join have with the preposition to, and you got have to, it shows obligation. So in that case, it's like tener que, right? So in this case, we are showing in a somehow obligation, right? So well, let's take a look a little bit about the structure, all right, in a couple of examples, how to use this structure. But before I starting with that, I'm going to show you. Right, so what we are going to have for the rest of the class. We got the feedback from the previous class, all right? So we didn't have that much to be uh, talking about from last class. Well, we were discussing countable and uncountable nouns using how much and how many, right? Something that you told me already. Now we are going to start with have, the users of have to for obligations, right? So I am going to give you a couple of examples, guys, and you also are going to give me uh, some extra examples related to the structure. And at the end, we're going to go into the manual because we got there a conversation and we got a couple of exercises to finish, right? So let's start with this one. It says have to and has to. Remember, have to, it's mostly for singular nouns. Uh, in this case, subjects and plural has to, it's when we use the third person, right? When we talk about he, she, and it. All right, but let's start with this. Right, let me see. So let me see if I can hear, Anna's Paulina's just getting connected. Give me one second. Wendy, can you please help me out reading this? We use has, has to, has to, mm -hmm. to show obligation about any activity in our job or house. Or houses. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Right, so as it says in there, it's mostly used to show obligations, right? about any activity, in this case, in your job or in the house, right? So take a look at this structure for first person and singular. As I said, this is mostly used for first person and plural, all right? This is the structure. Esta es la estructura que utilizamos más que todo para primeras personas y plurales. We got the subject, remember, when it comes to the subject, you can talk about I, you, we, they, and plural nouns. Like when we mention two people, like in this case, Evelyn and Carla. So in that case, it's two people. So in that case, it shows a plural form, right? So then we got the structure, in this case, have to, right? And then you got the main verb but the main verb in base form. El ideal verbo principal acá en esta estructura tiene que ir en forma base. And then you've got a complement, right? ¿Para qué nos sirve el complemento? Remember, just to make the sentence more specific. That's why we use a complement. So we have a couple of examples in here, right? So take a look at the first example. Evelyn, help me reading, please. I have to work eight hours a day. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. All right, so you see, I have to work eight hours a day. What am I showing in this sentence? ¿Qué estamos mostrando en esa oración? We're showing obligation, right? En cierto modo, estamos denotando obligación, right? Es como, ah, tengo que trabajar ocho horas al día, right? So in that case, it's basically for that, for activities that we in a somehow need or have to do 
by obligation. Okay. So take a look at the second example. Uh, let me see. Paulina, can you hear me? Paulina. I have to work eight hours a day. Uh, the second example, Paulina. You have to complete the report today. Okay, thank you. All right, so you see, you got to complete, or you have to complete, in this case, the report today. So in this case, what are we talking about? We're talking about a, somehow a obligation, right? An obligation. Okay, using the structure, right? All right, so we got another one over here. Take a look at this one. Ronald, help me read in the third example, please. <clears throat> We have to store the materials. Okay, thank you. It says we have to store the material, right? Ah, tenemos que almacenar el material. So in that case, we're talking about something plural, okay? And we got another one over here. Brenda, can you please help me out reading this one? They have to... They have to do the homework. Okay, very good. They have to do the homework, right? So in your cases, right? So you have to do the homework in the platform. All right, so this is like the way how you got it, right? This is que estamos denotando acá. Remember, we're showing obligation, right? And in here, we just have positive statements, okay? Good guys. Now, for the ones who can participate, what are like those obligations, guys? So you have. Can you mention at least one obligation that you got in your house, for example? Podrían darme un ejemplo sobre una obligación que ustedes tengan en su casa, right? Like in my case, I have to do the the chores when I come home. What about you? I have to cook every day. Okay, very good. You have to cook. Thank you, Carla. Somebody else? Somebody else, guys? Any other obligation, guys, that you have? I have I have to. Okay, let me see. First, Evelyn and then Paulina. Evelyn? I have to pay the bill. Okay, I have to pay the bills. Okay, thank you. Paulina? I have to I have to my house. Okay, very good. Thank you. Janita? I have to pay out the trash on Monday. <laughs> okay, all right, good, good. There you go, thank you. Somebody else, guys? Like, in your case, Parilla, what it's a, a an obligation that you have in your house? I have to clean the house um, weekend. On weekends, okay, all right, very good, thank you. Ronald, what about you? Uh, I had to clean my room. Okay, oh, so just every day. To... Okay, very good, so you have to clean your room every day, nice. Brenda, can you tell us an obligation that you have in your house? I am I have okay, okay so all right I, so you can start I have to I have cooking okay every day I, all right I have to cook every day repeat I have 
to cook, to cook every day. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Very good. Right, so let me see. Who else is missing? Quien más me falta? Let me see. Elwin Ernesto. <laughs> Can you hear me, Elwin? Parece que. Let me see. No se la escucha. Hmm. No, okay. Griselda, what about you? Yes. I have to pay the bills. Okay. All right. Good. I, I think you, you did it already. Okay. Thank you. Leonel. Let me see if Leonel can listen. Because. Uh... <laughs> Yes. ¿Me escucha? Yes. I have... Ajá, Leonel. Oh, creo que perdimos a Leonel. I have to give my call. I have to give my... Go. Met, la meta. Ah, ok. So in that case. En mi área de trabajo. Ah, o sea, creo que sería mejor. I have to reach my goal. Como lograr la meta, alcanzar la meta. Llegar a la meta. Ok, sería reach. Ok, there you go. Thank you for the example, Daniel. Ok, great. I think. Um... Right, so you got your examples. Very good, guys. Now. Let's jump on to the next one. Now, this is the structure, but when we talk about singulars or third person, right? So we got the subject. Let's remember, when it comes to the subject in here, we're talking about he, she, it, or a proper noun, like Wendy, Ronald, right? So those are singular nouns. And then you get the main verb in base form as always, and then you got a complement. For example, All right? So take a look at this. All right, Paria, help me out reading this example. She has to be on time at work. Okay, thank you. So you see, in this case, it's not have to, it's has to, right? So she. Has to be on time at work. Ah, es como ella tiene que estar a tiempo, right? En el trabajo. Right, take a look at this one. Uh, let me see. Evelyn, help me out reading. She has to wear uniform. Okay, thank you. He has to wear uniform. Right, that's what it says. Okay, great. Carla, next one. Jose has to save the documents. Okay, thank you. It says Jose has to save the documents, right? So you see, so basically all the subjects in here are singulars. So that's the reason why we got has to. And then the verb in base form. All right, so we got another one over here. Uh, let me see. Diego, can you hear me? Cristina has to buy food every day. Okay, thank you. All right, so you see, basically all the examples that we got over here, guys, belongs to singular nouns, right? So it's mostly when we talk about the obligations that another person has, all right? At that exact moment of speaking. Okay, great. Now, guys, do you know uh, your co-workers of relegations in this case? Or any family member obligation? 
Ok, good. ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo con algún amigo o familiar ahí sobre alguna obligación que él o ella tenga? Can you guys give me an example using has to? Like, for example, I can say, uh, my wife has to take care of the baby when I am working. So then maybe another one for me. What about you? So you can mention your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your co-worker, I don't know. She, My, she, she has to take a homework. She has to take the homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, take the homework or do the homework. All right, thank you. Thank you, Paulina. Now, Carla. My my son has to cleaning every day. Okay, has to clean, right? En este tipo de estructura ya no podríamos usar ing, alright? Sino el verbo en forma base, clean, en este caso. Sí, sí. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you, Carla. Alright, who's next? Uh, Wendy, do you have your example? Yes, but I said it My brother has to work four days a week. Okay, good. My brother has to work four days a week. Okay, thank you. Right, Ulises. Read yours. Um, my mother has to make Tortilla once a week. <laughs> okay, all right, good. Thank you. Brenda. My son oh. has to clean bathroom every oh. day. Okay, all right, good, good. Ria. Uh, my sister has to cook the lunch mm, okay there we go has to cook the lunch there we go wendy she has to go to the classes okay so she has to go to classes all right good thank you evelyn My son has to help. Mm, okay, the last, I, I didn't listen the last part. Creo que no escuché la última parte. Solo escuché, my son has to. To help in my house. Mm, okay, all right. There you go. Thank you, Evelyn. Leonel. Using a third person form, Leonel, can you give an example? Hmm, I think it's raining a lot of, and on Leonel's area, so that's the reason why he doesn't uh, answer. He doesn't answer. All right, uh, Diego. Uh, my cousin has to clean the house while I work. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Edwin Ernesto. You there, Edwin? Ah, creo que no le funciona el audio, Edwin. Ok, 
but can you hear me? Pero me escucha usted. Hmm. Creo que este ya no, será problema de audio en sí. De su micrófono. Y me escucho, pero yo no lo escucho nada a usted. So, vamos a ver. Ok, quite el mute. Turn on the microphone. You continue with the same issue? Yeah. Ok, let's try out something. Por lo general, a veces es un, es un pequeño error de Zoom. Eh, que a veces no nos permite conectar muy bien el audio. Uh, what we can do is like, desconectese de la clase y vuélvase a conectar. Por lo general, eso soluciona el inconveniente. Ok. So, probably, uh, I'm going to solve that issue that way. Ok, great. Uh, let me see. Who else is missing? Daniel uh, didn't answer. Let me see. All right. So, I guess all of you have already participated on the example. Now, Let's move on, guys. But until here, do we have any question? Hasta acá todo claro. ¿Hay alguna pregunta que podamos tener con relación a la estructura? Everything okay, guys? Teacher, si me escucha. Ahora sí, Edwin. Oh, sí, okay, okay. Yes. Bueno. Es el, oh. ¿Le digo la oración o, o, o ya yeah, pasó? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell me the, the, the sentence. Uh, my brother has to drive car at home every day. Mm, okay, very good. Thank you. Ah, we got Walter here. Walter, can you listen to us? Okay, good. Can you give me your example, please? Uh, un ejemplo. Yes, using has to um, show obligation. Okay. My sister has to buy shoes. Okay, my sister has to buy shoes. Okay, great. As in a somehow obligation. Very good. Permítanme. Okay, great. So I guess still got some issues to a couple of your classmates. Okay, good guys. Now let's start over. So basically we were discussing about how to create positive statements using have to and has to. Now it's the opposite. And here's to create negative sentences using don't have to or doesn't have to right remember don't have to it's mostly for first person and plurals and doesn't have to it's mostly for singulars right that's what it says in here so but let's take a look at it uh let me see carla help me reading this uh, short definition that we got here we oui. We use don't have to, doesn't have to, to show lack of obligation in activities. Okay, thank you. So you see in here, basically, it's the opposite. In a positive sentence, you show obligation. Like, I have to work. That's an obligation, right? But in negative sentences, here is the opposite. In here, you are not showing obligation. Here is that you're showing a lack of obligation. It's mostly a choice. Aquí ya es, no es obligación, sino más bien una opción, right, que tenemos. So it's not merely an obligation here. Using negative statements. For example. Right. There you go. So we got this one. Uh, let me see. Wendy, read it, please. I don't have to cook the dinner every day. Okay, very good. So you see, I don't have to cook the dinner every day. It's just like, ah, no tengo que cocinar la cena, right? Todos los días. Good. ¿Qué estamos mostrando ahí? 
Ahí es más que todo una opción y no una obligación, right? Right, so we got another one here. Brenda. Let's read you this. You don't sentence. have to buy new clothes. New clothes, okay. okay. Very good. Yeah, so you see, you don't have to buy new clothes. That is mostly a choice, right? Not an obligation. Good, Walter. Read the next one. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice fin de semana? ¿Ah? ¿Cómo se dice fin de semana? Ah, fin de semana. ¿Weekend? Ah, entonces, I don't have to work the weekend. Mm, ok, good. Bueno, ya me, ya me ayudó hasta la, a, a la propia. Ok, es el ejemplo adicional. Thank you, Walter. All right, there you go. All right, so the one that we got here on the screen below, guys, it says, we don't have to speak Chinese, right? So in that case, that's, that's just mostly an option. There you go. Okay, great. Let's remember, we use mostly have to, all right, to show obligation and don't have to. It's not obligation. It's merely a choice. All right, and we got another one here, the last one. Isabel, can you please read it? They don't have to write emails. Okay, thank you. So you see, they don't have to write emails. There you go. So basically there, remember, we're showing a choice, not an obligation. Okay, great. As it says, it's like pretty simple, the structure. It doesn't require like a huge, huge complexity, right? So basically, I guess you guys have gotten the idea about these sentences in negative. Now, can you guys give me an example about something that is not merely an obligation for you? For example, Walter gave me an example. He said that. I don't have to work on weekends. And that's a good example. What about the rest? Can you guys give me an example? Podrían darme un ejemplo sobre algo que no sea una obligación. I don't have... Ajá. I don't... Not to run in the work. <laughs> okay, good. I don't have to run in the work. Thank you, Paulina. Somebody else? I don't have to get up early weekend. Okay, good. I don't have to uh, get up or wake up early on weekends. All right, good. Somebody else? I don't have to pay bills today. Mm, okay, excellent. Thank you, Wendy. Evelyn? You don't have to pay on the day. Mm, okay, great. Thank you. Uh, Ronald? <clears throat> I don't have to drink coffee every day. Mm, okay, good, good. <laughs> That in my case is an obligation. <laughs> All right, great. Parrilla? I don't have to watch TV every day. Mm, okay, excellent. Very good, thank you. Uh, Edwin Ernesto? I don't have to run on the, on the weekend. Okay, good. I don't have to run on the weekends. Very good. Uh, let me see. Who else is missing? Diego? They don't have... They don't have to work the Saturday. Okay, 
Good, good. Uh, Brenda, did you participate already? ¿Ya participó Brenda? No. Okay, good. Can you give me your example? I don't have to clean the homework. No. Uh, the homework. The homework, yes. Uh, ¿Qué me I, quiere decir ahí? I don't have I don't have to clean the homework. Yo no tengo que barrer la casa. Ah, the house, the house. Es que ya decía yo, porque dice que no tiene que limpiar la, la tarea. <laughs> no, remember, uh -huh. house, house. Sorry. Ok, ok, no problem. House. Right, house, house. Ok, great, thank you. Let me see. Who else is missing? Hay alguien que todavía me, se me ha escapado que no me ha dado un ejemplo. Hmm. Carla, did you participate already? Ya participó. Uh, I don't have to wash clothes. Mm, okay, good. I don't have to wash the clothes. All right, very good. So basically, remember, recordemos entonces que have to es más que todo para obligación. Y don't have to es más que todo para una opción, right? So just remember that, right? Good. Now, this is the first person and plural. What about third person? Take a look at the structure. ¿Qué es lo único que cambia la estructura en tercera persona? If you take a look in there, the only thing that changes is that you got doesn't have to. En vez de don't, tenemos doesn't, right? Es lo único que cambia con relación a, los, a, la oras, a las oraciones que estábamos viendo anteriormente. All right, so we got a couple of examples in here. Remember, these ones are mostly used for third person, right? So, Walter, read the first example. He doesn't have to wear shoes. Uh, skirts. Skirts. Uh, skirt. Okay, thank you. What is skirts, guys? What is the word skirt? All right, skirt means faldas, right? That's the word skirt means faldas. All right, great. Now let's move on to the second example, Isabel. He doesn't have to play basketball on weekends. Okay, there you go. Thank you. All right, if you take a look in there, guys, it's because we got the subject in singular. That's the reason why you got doesn't in the structure, right? So we got another one in here. Uh, Griselda. Help me out reading the next example. Helen doesn't have to wash the car once a week. Okay, very good. So you see, basically in there we are talking about one single person, right? So that's the reason why you got doesn't. All right, great. I don't know, guys, if you are taking notes on this, so can I move on? No sé si están tomando nota o puedo pasar. Moment, please, teacher. Okay, good. Let me know when you finish. Hágame saber cuando hayan terminado, please. Very few people got connected today. Tampoco se conectaron, faltaron varios. Debo suponer que sí ha estado viviendo súper fuerte por esa área. 
Aquí solo con la chubasca fue más la tormenta eléctrica. Aquí demasiado fuerte. Nice. Ya estuvo, Tisha. Ok, good. Aquí en Oriente estamos salados. Acá se forman las tormentas y van a ser desórdenes allá por el área de San Salvador. <ríe> oh, my God. San Miguel no llueve, ¿verdad, Tisha? No, ya tiene varios días de que no llueve. Bueno, es al menos en mi área acá, sí, ya tiene varios días que no, no llueve. Y cuando decían Del que estaban... centro este. Ah, ah, no meramente... Del centro del... este. No, no meramente del teacher, centro. Ahí le vamos a mandar una pipa, teacher. No llueve. <risa> no, fíjense que agua llovida no es mucho, pero aquí el agua potable se abunda bastante. Porque aquí como uh, están los mantos acuíferos del volcán, la zona del volcán. Esto acá sí. Al menos... En ese aspecto estamos bien. Ya. Yeah. Pero sí, con, pero con los cultivos están. Ahí sí, le aceptamos la pipa. Uh. There you go. All right, good. So, let's move on, guys. Let's say, questions using have to and has to. Bueno, ya estuvimos viendo, right? El uso de las oraciones en positivo, negativo. Now we're going to be discussing how to create question forms, right? Using this structure. And basically, we got the formula here about how we can create these questions appropriately, right? So we got here the WH word. Recuerden que cuando hablo de una WH word, estamos hablando de what? What time, where, when, right? Who? Those ones you you discuss those ones, I guess with the uh, the past modules, right? So you have been discussing that. You must know what I'm talking about. Then you got do in this case, right? Aquí estamos con una estructura meramente de primera persona y en plural, right? Because you got only do plus the subject plus have to plus the main verb and the complement at the end. For example, take a look at this. Right, so we got it this way. All right, so we got the first question. Jorge, welcome back, Jorge. Can you please help me out good reading? Hi, good evening. Can you please help me out reading the question? Uh, Where do you have to use your phone? Okay, great. Where do you have to use your phone, right? It's like, I mean, ¿dónde tienes que usar tu teléfono? So this mostly shows kind of obligation in this case, right? Good. So take a look at the example here, guys. Here you got the example. Uh, Paulina, help me read in the answer, please. I have to use my phone in my house. Okay, thank you. So you see, basically, you got it like that, right? The answer. Good. So we got another question in here. Uh, Wendy. Let's read the question, Wendy. What time do you have to be at work? Okay, thank you. So you see, what time do you have to be at work? I mean, ¿a qué horas tienes que estar en el trabajo? Right? Great. Evelyn? No. I have to be at work. <laughs> in your case, guys, what time do you have to be in, uh, at work? 7 p.m.? I mean, 7 a.m.? <laughs> oh, before that. <laughs> I am 6 a.m. <laughs> At 6 a.m.? Really? Yeah. For mm. breakfast. <laughs> Good. Pero su hora de entrada? ¿A qué hora es? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 
Jesus, so tiene sí, que levantarse, ella... so tiene que levantarse que tipo cinco o cuatro. Cuatro. Oh, Jesus. Oye, pero, pero ustedes eh, no suelen cruzar el megatráfico que se hace en el centro, right? O sea, no son el área céntrica de San Salvador. Ah, bueno, al menos están no. bendecidos. En Solo esos... ríos y montes. <ríe> ok. <ríe> Algunos viven aventuras extremas porque pasan la canoa. Jesus. O sea, es que, ¿cómo se llama? Es tirolesa, creo que se llama. Vamos a ver a Isabel lanzándose de una tirolesa para llegar al trabajo así más rápido. ¿Right, Isabel? No, no es necesario. Yo sí vivo muy lejos del trabajo. ¿No vive muy lejos? Sí, vivo lejos. ¿Really? Una hora. De... ¿A una yes. hora? Ok, but by car o by bus? Bye, bye. El lancha, el lancha. Oh, sí, sí. El lancha. Oh, my God. No, sí, a bye, veces. Bye, Paul. Oh, uh, pues sí. Pues sí, tiene que, tiene que viajar un poquito lejos. No, man, it happens. Así nos toca. Igual a mí, mi otro trabajo durante el día, a una hora está prácticamente. A una hora. Y eso, que voy en moto y a veces en carro. Y si tomo el bus sería. Mm, hora, San Miguel hora, o en la Unión? Hora y media. ¿Ah? No, from San Miguel, I got to travel. San Miguel. No, I got to travel to Zulután. Mm. Yeah. ¿Por Tano <coughs> o la otra calle? La, por la ah. litoral. litoral. La litoral. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Por dónde trabaja? Ah, ¿va el estadio? ¿Va el estadio? Ah, uh, ok. Yeah. Más o menos. Mi trabajo está justo enfrente del Sergio Torres. Yeah. Grande el firpo. <ríe> Grande en dejar abajo a la afición. <ríe> No, bueno. Damos pena ahí, pero bueno, ni modo. Okay. Este año es el bueno. Va a ser bueno si no desciende. Ok. All right. So, let's continue, guys. All right. So, remember in this case, this is the way how we can create, right, questions, positive questions mostly. Right, using the structure. This one, as I said, mostly on first person and plurals, right? Now, let's take a look at this other structure that we got here. Y aquí es cuando usamos las terceras personas, que es lo único que cambia. As you can see, in comparison to the other one, lo único que cambiamos acá es que acá usamos das, right? Back in the previous structure, we used to use do, and here we use das for the third person. So we've got a question in here. So take a look at this one. Edwin Ernesto, help me out reading. What does she have to do? Okay, great. What does she have to do? Belina, are you there? Can you hear me? Belina? She has to do the show. Okay, thank you. It says she has to do the chores, right? Mm -hmm. Como ella oh. tiene que hacer. Es, chores es como... The general cleaning, como las tareas de la casa, right? So basically, that's the chores, right? So that's what it says there, right? So in this case, we're showing obligations, right? Good. And we have another example, an extra example in here. Uh, let me see who. Diego, help me a reading, please. Oh, 
Who does he have to talk with? Okay, great. Who does he have to talk with, right? Con quien tiene que hablar él. All right, so we got the short answer, Ronald. Read it, please. He has to talk with his boss. Okay, there you go. Thank you. So you see, we're showing in that case, in a somehow obligation, right? He has to talk with his boss. Great. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. Me vino una visita inesperada por acá. Right. Huh? Ah, here is my baby. <laughs> Me vino a visitar al trabajo, so. All right. Just take it. Oh, well. <laughs> Mire, hola. Okay. Bye. Está mal. Okay. Bye. Bye, baby. Ah. Uh, all right. Great, guys. Okay, so we got that examples on there using the third person, right? And let's remember, en las preguntas, porque llevamos el auxiliar, en este caso, does, right? Por eso colocamos la estructura como have to, right? En forma base. Y si podemos observar ya en la respuesta, como no llevamos el auxiliar, right? So we remove the auxiliary verb, so that's the reason why we come with has to and not have to, right? Good. So basically, uh, I think this is something that you were discussing in the previous modules, right? The uses of uh, the auxiliary verbs. Good, guys. Until here, do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta acá? Any doubt? Alguna duda? Is everything okay? Okay, perfect. Y todo está súper claro como el agua. <laughs> Ojalá y no sea de la selva. Uh, sí, 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 yo tengo una dudita. Okay, good. Go ahead. Dijo que solo porque llevaba el das no se cambiaba, se cambia, no se cambia el verbo, el have to. Exactly. Cosa, como no lo lleva, eh, pone como have. Exactly, exactly. Debido a eso es que colocamos el, el, la estructura en forma base en la pregunta, porque llevamos el verbo auxiliar, que en este caso es das, ya modificado. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Ok. Very good. Okay, great. So I guess you have already finished copying the questions, examples. Now, guys, let's work in the manuals. Ahora sí, vámonos al manual, entonces. And for the rest of the hour, we are just going to be discussing the activities that are in there. Good. I want you to go to page 11, guys. Let's go to page number 11 in your manuals. And you will find out there a short conversation. Let me see. What happened with my number? Oh. Okay, here it is. Okay, I'm going to project the manual over here. All right, so... This is the page I told you to go to. In here, you will see a short conversation between Aaron and Sam. What are we going to do with this short conversation, guys? I am going to read it one time, right? So you can follow me up with the microphone off. Pueden eh, seguirme la secuencia con el micrófono apagado para no, no causar interrupción a los demás, right? Y al final de la lectura, si tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario, just let me know, ¿ok? Me lo hacen saber. Vamos a comenzar entonces. It says, Aaron, the new material just arrived in the morning. 
tell Max that he has to store everything. Sam says, where does he, where does he have to store the boxes? Aaron says, he and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. In the warehouse. Sam says, okay, but there are many boxes. But there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Can they use the lift? Aaron says, they have to use the lift. They have to use the lift. But ask and tell. But ask and tell the secretary first. The secretary first. Sam says, she is going to say, she is going to say, they can use it. They can use it. Then, then I'm going to tell Max, I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. What they have to do. All right. Okay, great. With the short conversations in here, guys, do you have any question with the vocabulary? ¿Hay alguna palabra que no comprendamos en esta pequeña conversación? Or do you understand everything? To share. Yes. And Sam, can they use the lift? What is lift? Lift in this case is the elevator. The lift. It's another way to say elevator. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other word? In guys? warehouse. Warehouse it means almacén or bodega. That is warehouse. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, so I think those are like the, the, the words that you might get issues with, right? Good. What are we going to do with this short conversation? In this case, let me see. Mm. Carla, are you there? Diego, Leonel, volvió a Leonel. Ahora sí me escucha. Necesito saber si están active yes. porque. Okay, great. Entonces, I need to send you yes, to yes. work in pairs. All right, great. Griselda, Leonel, uh, Selina, are you there, guys? Can you hear me? Griselda, no, okay, creo que Griselda y Leonel no me escuchan. Uh, Selena, can you hear me? Okay, even though you got a couple of issues, okay, Selena. Perfect. Okay, and Walter, yeah, Diego's there. Okay, great. Because I need to send you guys to practice this conversation. Me interesa que practiquen esta pequeña conversación para que incluyamos la estructura que hemos estado discutiendo, right? Then I am going to bring you back here and I need to listen to you all practicing this conversation. So just give me one second, guys.
Déjenme en un segundo. Vamos a tell this. Vamos a sign manually. Okay, great. Just give me a second, I am just assigning you who to work with. Ok, great. Como les dije, quiero que practiquen un, por un, un par de minutos esta conversación. Right? Mostly to gain fluency, uh, I'm going to send you to work to the breakout rooms. Eh, vamos a practicar por un par de minutos y luego vamos a volver acá, right? Because I want to listen to you all practicing this conversation. All right, guys. Let's accept. All right, the joining for Teacher, the breakout room. Podría, podría compartir. Sí, Carla. Podría compartir en la pantalla para tomar captura. Que se okay. podría compartir en la pantalla para tomar captura, por favor. Ok, ok, ok. Here you have. Here you have. Ya, teacher, gracias. Ok, excellent. Very good. Bueno, démosle aceptar entonces. Vámonos a practicar esa conversación y luego volvemos, ok? Let's go, guys. And this is for everybody, okay? Let's accept it, please. Evelyn, démosle aceptar, por favor. Envíemela porque por tomar la captura se me desapareció. Oh, permítame. No me había puesto. Ok, good. La voy a mandar para uno diferente, pero luego la voy a volver para donde la voy a colocar, ok? Ok. Ok, great. Acepte, por favor. Tell Max that they has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but, but there are many boxes. Can they use the, the lid? They have to use the leaf barras and the and tell the secretary first. 
She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Ahora inicio yo. Vaya. Selina. Se nos fue. Perdimos a Selina. Sí, 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 quizás la dañé le falló. Ah, puedo empezar, Ronald. Ok. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan had to store the had to store the them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? They have to use the leaf, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Nice. No regresa, Selena. No regreso. La señal tal vez tenía mala porque se le cortaba, no escuchabas que se le cortaba. Se le murió la señal. Sí, es cierto. <ríe> le voy. <ríe> all right, pero para mientras, let's practice back and forth, all right? She's going to say they can use it. She's going to say they can use it. Hoy le lo todo ro. Bueno, a ver, va. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Sorry. Where does where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store things in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use it the left? They have to use the left for ads and tell the secretary first. She is going. To say they can use it, then I am going to tell Max um, and in fun what they have to do. Then I'm going to tell Max what they have to do. Come on, They knew. The dale, dale, bro, dale. material just arrived in the morning. Then Max that he has to store everything. Where does he has to store the boxes? He and Ivan had to store things in the warehouse. Okay. But there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? They had to use the leaf, but had and tell the secretary first. Warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? The leaf. They have to use the left back as enter the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it, then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Empiezo. Empiezo. Do you know the new material just arrived in the morning? Tell Max that he has to stop. Sí, sí, lo estoy viendo. 
no, a vos no te estoy viendo, ni uno estoy viendo. <risa> mm, vaya, ahorita sí lo estoy viendo. Ya no. <risa> Ahora ya se fue por completo. Compartí lo que no lo veo. Ya. ¿Cuál quiere que se me fue el Inter? me fue el Inter? Yo no sé si que estaba abusada. Vieras que me yo hablando con vos supuestamente. Si te quedaste en mudo un rato. No, hombre, vaya a ver. Ay. Yo no sé, yo hablando y yo digo, ¿dónde está? Ay, esta mierda, mira, que me pulido. Hoy empezamos, empiezo yo. Empiezo yo. Vale, pues. Hello, Walter. Walter, me oí. Sí, ahorita empiezo yo. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué no empezar? Pues sí, que me había trabado otra vez. Dale. No, es que se te corta. Dice, sí, es que... The new material. No me sirve, <risa> el pinche irte antes de ser mundista. Dale, voy a... Vaya. Dale. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Bueno, no sé. También decidieron a don Andrés. Hello, teacher. Ay. Sorry. No sé por qué no hace ruido. Los otros teachers sí. hacían ruido cuando entraban. No sé. Sí, no Entro silencioso ahí para ver. Para ver qué está. Okay. Sorpresa. Estamos practicando, teacher, pero nos dimos un descanso porque me ardía un ojo. Yo pensé que iba a decir la garganta. Un ojo. Pero si, si nos quiere escuchar, nosotros leemos ahorita. No, 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 no es ok. No es okay. I, I was just checking. O nos va a escuchar hasta que ya entramos a la sala principal. Sí, 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 sí. En la uh -huh. sala principal ahí las voy a poner a leer, ok. Nada más estoy revisando. Y voy por el último, nomás reviso el último y nos vamos a la sala principal, ok. okay. okay. All right, great. Mhm. Él y Iván tienen. Ajá. Yo tengo. Bueno. Dice. Yes. Este, como no, yo no entiendo la pregunta. ¿Cómo dice la pregunta de Sam? Uh, which When one? does he have to store the boxes? Uh -huh. Ah, I mean, where does he have Sam, to store Sam. the boxes? Okay. Sí, ¿qué, ¿Qué le dice? Es básicamente donde él tiene que uh -huh. guardar o almacenar las cajas. ¿Y dónde dice, cómo, dónde dice almacenar ahí? Eso no Store. lo entiendo. La palabra store. Es Ajá, tienda. No, 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 no. Almacen. no. Como nombre, porque esa, esa, esa palabra funciona de dos formas. Cuando actúa Ajá. como nombre, significa tienda. Pero cuando se transforma en verbo, que en este caso es un verbo, significa almacenar Ajá. o guardar. Almacenar. Ajá. Ajá. Ah, por eso no entendía. Sí, sí. Ahí no tiene nada que ver con una tienda, ¿ok? Gracias. Ok, ok. Yeah, man. Just, just, that's just for you to, to get what you're talking about, ¿ok? Ajá. Ok, great. Leo. Ya. Diga. Sí. No, sí, sí. Ah, ¿ya practicaron? Sí. Ok, great. Entonces, vámonos a la sala principal, que ya los voy a escuchar leer toda la conversación, ¿ok? 
Está bien. Sí, yo dar, ¿ok? Nos vemos ahí. Hey, where is everybody? No quieren venir. What? My love? Can is my love? Uy. Okay. También alternativas, ya veo. <laughs> Ok, guys, hey, you're back. Por fin, yo pensé que no querían volver. <laughs> All right, very good. So, I'm going to project the conversation and I want to listen to you in here, right? Ahora bien, who, guys, wants to be the first one? ¿Quién quiere ser el primer, el, la primer pareja? ¿Quién quiere decir la ya? Me, teacher, I want to break no, up. No. Perfect. Very good. Walter, who were you working with? ¿Con quién trabajó? Con Mira. Carla. With Carla. Okay, let's go. Dale, Walita. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that. He has to stop everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the light? Lift. They have to use the light, but hacks. And tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to say, tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. All right. So what they have to do. All right. So just a couple of observations, right? Uh, in here, it's the left. Okay. Left. It's just, 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 just for the next time, okay? Thank you, uh, Carla and Walter. All right, Carla and Walter, ayúdenme a escoger quién es el siguiente o la siguiente. Yeah, Brenda. Uh, Brenda. Sí. Okay, good. Brenda, who did you work with? Thank you, Walter. <laughs> Love you. Ese, ese thank you fue bien, bien así amoroso. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, Brenda. Who were you working with? ¿Con quién trabajo? Diego Mas. Okay, good. Let's go. The new yeah. material, the new material should arrive in the morning. Tell Max that he, that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use it the left? 
they have to use the left boot at and the tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it if then he is going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Brenda. Diego. Let's remember, right? It's lift. <laughs> Another way to say elevator. Very good. But thank you anyways. Good, Brenda and uh, Diego. Help me out choosing the next participants. Okay, que decir la, el, la suerte, Dieguito. All right, Diego. No, del, del usted. El día usted. Ah, ya, yeah? okay. Que sea, entonces, los que no miro. <laughs> Aquí no miro a nadie. Okay. Uh, Leonel. Okay, Leonel. Con Evelyn. <laughs> okay, All right. Evelyn. <laughs> All right. Inicia, Leo. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He, he and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay. But there are many boxes. Can they use the left? They have to use the left, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Finish. <laughs> All right, very good. Very good, thank you. Uh, Lionel and Evelyn. Right, great job. Now, who's next? Help me out choosing the next pair, please. Paulina. Paulina. Okay. Good. Paulina Rubin. Paulina Rubin. Con Ronald. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Good chicken. Ronald está ahí. Yes. Empezar. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Mac that the, he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use, use the leaf? They have to use the leaf, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, very good. Thank you to you both. Now, guys, help me out just in the next one. Um, Parrilla. Okay, <laughs> let's go, Parrilla. Sabía yeah. que si no era Ronald, era la Paulina. De nadie. Normal. Okay, empiezo yo entonces. Ahí vea. <laughs> the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the left? They have to use the left, but ask and tell the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Finish. Okay, very good. There you go, guys. Thank you. Now, help me out choosing the ones that are missing. Elijalo usted, <ríe> parrilla. Ok, vamos a ver. Jorge, ya estuvo. Eh, no. 
Sorry, Jorge. <laughs> Um, quiero ver quién era mi compañero. A ver, no se ha ido. Edwin, Ernesto, comenzá. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he has had to store the boxes? He um, even had to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the left? They have to use the left, but ask until um, the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it, then. I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they had to do. Okay, finish. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, guys. Now, uh, let me see. I think focus. If I'm not wrong, it's just missing uh, Isabel. The new material just arrived in the morning. Yeah, just Isabel. I think. All right, Isabel, who were you working with? Wendy. Okay. Let's go. Lisa. Wendy, are you ready? Yes, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the left? They have to use the list back at and tell the secretary field. She is going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, very good, thank you. Thank you to you both. You did it excellent. Uh, let me see. Creo que ustedes serán los últimos, right? There's no anyone that is missing, guys. Me falta alguna. Creo que falta alguien. Selena. Selena. Griselda. Ah. There you go. Okay, good. Gris <laughs> but I don't know, Griselda. Griselda, are you there? Was uh, she didn't answer. Hmm, Selena, who were you working with? Um, mi compañero fueron Olimpia y cómo se llama ella. Y Ronald, si es a todos, estaba ahí. Ah, Ronald. pero yo, como me falló la, el internet, las señales, y me, me, ah, okay. me sacó y ya no pude okay. practicar con ellos. All right, no problem, uh -huh. pero Olimpia va a estar más que complacida de practicar con usted ahorita. Sí, claro, hombre, aquí estoy. Okay. Eso. <risa> Gracias. Let's go, okay, let's go. <risa> And the new material. Okay. Bye. Así cuando lo practiqué contigo, empecé primero. Va, va. Okay. Entonces, yo. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sí, Entonces... <laughs> Voy a empezar entonces. Vaya, vaya. The new material is arrived in the morning. Tell Max that the, he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and I, Ivan have to store it in the warehouse. 
Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? They have to use it the leaf, but uh, in the until in the secretive first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you. Thank you to you both. Thank you, uh, Paulina, just to help out Celine, okay? Very good. You are Okay, great. Now, una vez que ya leímos la conversación y ya la practicamos, vamos a responder estas, okay? O básicamente, completar, right? Just by circling these sentences. Okay, good. Tenemos la primera. Dice Max and Ivan y tenemos dos opciones. Have to and has to. Y luego dice a store boxes. Which one is the correct one? Have to or has to? ¿Con cuál mejor completa la oración? Have to or has to? Has to. Has to. Has to. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. No, guys, it has to be have to. Recuerden porque hay dos personas. There are two people here. Tenemos Max and Ivan. So that's plural. Entonces acá, como ya hablamos de dos personas, right? That's plural. Entonces la indicada sería have to. Right? Good. So it's got to be this, this one over here. Okay, great. What about the second one? It says Aaron doesn't have to and has to help store the boxes. Which one? It's the one. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, very good. So, Aaron, all right. In this case, it's mostly, it's considered a question. No sé por qué tiene el símbolo de pregunta. Esto debería de eliminarse porque no tiene ninguna lógica en, la, en el sentido de la pregunta. Dice Aaron. Okay, so in this case, listen, if you take it negative, right, or positive, pero en este caso va a depender de la conversación que tenemos arriba. Dice Aaron, help store the boxes. Okay, good. ¿Qué dice la conversación acá? Veamos la conversación. Si Aaron tiene que ayudar a, a guardar las cajas. No. 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 Entonces, en ese caso sería doesn't, right? Okay, good. So in this case, let's go down in here and let's use. Okay, it says. Aaron doesn't have to not store the book. Exactly. It has to be the first one, right? Doesn't have to store the boxes. Okay, good. What about number three? Ahora bien, la número tres. Dice, some, and then you got doesn't have to, and doesn't has to help. Yes. All right, so in that case, which option is the correct one? Doesn't have to. Okay, very good. Doesn't have to. This is the correct one. ¿Por qué no la segunda? Porque tenemos doesn't, pero también tenemos el verbo, la estructura en tercera persona. Y eso no es correcto. Remember, that is not correct, right? Eso es por el motivo. Es la primera, right? Good. What about the number four? It says, the secretary has to has to say that the, they can use the left. Which one is the correct one? 
have to or has to? Has to. Okay, excellent. Has, has to. to. This is the correct one. Okay. So. Great. Very good, guys. So basically, this is the way how you got it, right? Good. Now, once done this one, let's go down, guys. I need a way to focus on here, right? Ahora bien, vamos a completar estas. Pero igual, estas las vamos a ir a hacer en parejas, como hemos estado trabajando. Dice, complete the following sentences using the correct form of have to and the words provided. Vaya, tenemos una serie de oraciones acá, right? Y luego dice, the company, y luego ustedes tienen el verbo principal acá, buy. Y luego este es el complemento. Dice, new material. Vaya, entonces acá lo que ustedes le van a agregar es have to o has to, dependiendo del subject que tengamos acá, ¿ok? Entonces, es lo que vamos a hacer. Si tenemos acá, the company, ¿Es la singular o plural? Singular. Ok, singular. Entonces acá, ¿cómo lo pondríamos? The company. Happy. Happy. Happy boy. New. Has to buy. All right. New material. Has to be this way. Right? Using has to. Porque estamos hablando de un singular. Okay? Good. Now, let's do the other ones. But, hagamos las demás, por favor. All right? Pero lo vamos, como les dije, lo vamos a ir a hacer en las mismas parejas que estábamos. Okay? Just, just to help each other. Okay? Para que así nos podamos ayudar el uno al otro. All right? Let's open up. La captura de Fisher. Ok, yo me voy a hacer. Permítame entonces. Me desconfiero. Ok. Alright, there you go. ¿Ya tienen? No, no. Sí, ya. Okay, great. So I'm gonna stop in here and I am going now to send you Michael, what happening? <laughs> Give me one second. I'm going to add you again porque tengo difficulties. <laughs> You are in Okay, let's open them up. And let's go to work on those exercises. Uh, Walter, are you there, Walter? Okay. Eh, dele, dele aceptar para poderse unir, okay, a la sala. Mm.
Everything okay, guys? Vamos bien? Any question? Veo que no se hablan ustedes para ver si cómo van. Somos mudas, teacher. Somos. Ahorita están en competencia a ver quién lo hace primero y mejor, dicen. No, teacher. Estamos analizando. Ah, ok, ok. I know. Dice, ¿verdad que cuando está hablando de hack, hack to, es como estar hablando de varios, más sí, o menos? Sí, de plural, de plural. Ah, o cuando hablamos en, plural, primer, ah. en primera persona, right? En primera persona o plural. Ya has to es más que todo para he, she, it, o cuando mencionamos algo en singular. Para terceras. Exacto. Okay. Entonces, según solo serían dos personales y las demás plurales. Por ejemplo, la cuatro, Mr. Bonilla has to design the models. Design the model, yeah. Good. Yes, teacher? Yes. Okay. Mr. Bonilla has to design the new models. Yeah. Design new models. Very good. Ya estamos listas, chicas, para hacer la comparación. No, yo ahorita lo estoy haciendo. No, pero ahí ya no lleva el nombre. Pues sí. No porque ya está, solo sería sin de letter. Teacher. Ok, one question, guys. Ahora bien, una pregunta. Cuando decimos the agents, ¿is that singular o plural? Eso estábamos discutiendo uh -huh. porque dice, o uh, sea, Normalmente la palabra es le o él o la, ¿verdad? Pero dice la, los agentes. Correcto. Ahí estamos hablando de un plural. Por lo tanto, no plural. podemos usar doesn't, ni tampoco has to. ¿Qué Tiene que ser la estructura en forma base. Don't have. Y, exacto, ahí ya sería don't. Don't have. Exactly, because it's plural. Así como lo tiene ahorita Jorge, don't have to sign the to letter. sign the letter, yeah. That's the way. Esa es la forma. Okay. Recuerden que doesn't okay. o has to nada más es para singulares. Como por ejemplo en el número 4. Mr. Bonilla. Ok. Uh -huh. Mr. Bonilla has to the same new model. Design new models, exactly. That's Design the way how you got it. Models. Right, good. Let's do the last one, and I'm gonna check another group, okay? The group. The... No sé si ten... Pero... tendría que ir con... Don. Don. Oh, that's... Preguntémosle al teacher. Yes, I'm here to help. Teacher, en la última está hablando de negativa y oui. en la tercera también. O oui. solamente vamos, porque según la, la, la recomendación dice complete yendo la, usando el correcto, have to. Mm -hmm. No dice de negativo, ¿no? No, pero vaya, el number no, right. Number three, in this case, is negative, right? Entonces, ¿cuál es el auxiliar que usamos con el negativo? Ya tenemos que es don't o doesn't, right? Ahora bien, yeah. hay que identificar si el subject es singular o plural. The agents, ¿is that singular o plural? Plural. All right, entonces, ¿cuál es la forma negativa que vamos a usar? Doesn't. 
¿Quién dijo Dasent? <risa> ¿Sabe? No era de aquí. Le dijo alguien. Sabe, claro. <risa> no, es don't. Recuerden, okay. en plural es don't. ¿Ok? Don't. Exactly. Entonces ahí don't. tenemos the yeah. agents. Ajá, don't the have agents. To. Ajá, the agents don't have to sign the letter. The... Bind. Siempre va a llevar bind. Hola. Okay. ¿Cómo dice? Sign. sign the letter. ¿Podría repetir? Ok. Bind the letter. Ok. The agents don't have to sign, que es el verbo que aparece ahí, después de not, sign the letter. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Thank good. You. All right. Para la próxima negativa que tienen al final es singular. Ok. Solo para que lo tengamos en cuenta. Yes. Ok, nice. No Entonces sería, sería igual el otro, don't have to, not. No. Well, mm, don't have to. Es has. No. Hay has porque es plural, ¿verdad? El grupo. Sí. sí. Sería plural, ¿va? Bien, así. Ah, el grupo el plural tendría que ser entonces. O singular, no, no sé, ya me... Un grupo no es No, sería plural, sería plural porque yo ya hablaba. El grupo, supone que un grupo o muchas personas sería. Está hablando, aunque está plural, hablando de ellos. Walter. De ellos vendría siendo igual que la tres. Por eso, que esa es como el grupo, dice, o sea, son varios, son ellos. Sería Don. Don Hats. Don Hats to. Don Hats to no work until late. Don't have to not work. Bye. Junchi late. Hello guys. Hi da. Teacher, a question. <laughs> Rapidito. Oh my Teacher. God. ¿Qué estoy viendo en Number esa two. comparación, guys? ¿Qué estoy viendo ahí? Hey, Number two. La número dos. And Number two. The furnace have to pile up. But that's okay. That's good. ¿Verdad? Donde, donde estoy viendo, esa está bien, donde estoy viendo un horror, es en la número 5. <risa> no la hemos terminado todavía. Ah, okay. All right. solo, para, va, solo para que recordemos, va, el auxiliar lo tienen bien en negativo, that's ok. Pero recuerden, cuando usamos el auxiliar doesn't, ya la estructura va en forma original, o sea, forma base. Entonces ya no hay necesidad de modificarlo a tercera persona. Right. ¿A qué vamos con eso? Tenemos the group doesn't have, have, to. To. have to. No have, have to. to. Exactly. Ok. Right. Ya estaba viendo ahorita. Ya hemos, have... traducido, ya hemos traducido lo que es la pregunta número... Eh, dos y así como la teníamos decir lo aparecía sus socios tener que apilar contenedores ah no en ese caso Entonces, mira, da... your partners es como tus eh, partners es como compañeros Mañana, ¿sí? compañeros de trabajo Ajá. your partners have to pile up containers es como sus compañeros tienen que apilar o ordenar right los contenedores uh -huh. eso significa Ahí sería have to, entonces, Jorge. Yeah, have to. Work on the late. Uh -huh. Until late. Exactly. That's the way. Until, until late. All right. Good. Perfecto. Entonces, si ya terminamos esa parte, vámonos a la sala principal. Vamos a revisar cómo lo han hecho los demás. Y ya sería todo. ¿Okay? Tomar la captura, Jorge. 
right. puedo yo sacarle de aquí. Sacarle ahí. Ahorita, para una foto, entonces. <risa> Ahí sale el teacher cabal. <ríe> Listo. Te tomaste el lado. Con tal no me salga ahí medio raro y me hagan un meme o <ríe> un sticker. <ríe> no. <ríe> ok, good. Let's go to the next one. Pero no me tomara el lado, güey. Ahí está, güey. <ríe> Uy, Dios. Bueno, ya ven. <ríe> bueno, pues, nos veo en la sala principal, ¿ok? Thank Para you, teacher. All right, all right. Okay, guys, now we're just going to check what you have before leaving, okay? So I'm going to project the manual. Give me one second. And just let's check what you have, and that's going to be everything. Okay, so let's just start over with the number one. As I said in here, esta, yo se las di, remember, the company has to buy new material. Right, so you got it like this. What about the second one? ¿Qué tal la número dos? And I'm gonna be specific on here. Brenda, what do you have in this one? Your partners? Have to fill containers. Have to pile up, pile up? Pile up, pile up. Container. Okay, doing good. All right. Now, number three. Alguien que me ayude con el número tres, por favor. The agents don't have to sign the letter. Don't have to sign the letter. Sign, sign the letter. You know what is sign? ¿Saben qué significa sign? No. Sign means firmar. Firmar, en este caso. Sign the letter, firmar la carta. Ok. Right. Perfect. So, si lo tenemos así, it is correct, guys. Now, number four. Ayúdenme con la número cuatro. Mr. Bonilla has to design new model. Okay, design. Right, new Hi. model. All right, very good. So, you got it like this, right? Models. All right, it says... Mr. Bonilla has to design new models. All right, very good. What about the last one? Ahora bien, la última. The group doesn't have to work on the light. Okay, very good. If you got it like this, it is correct. The group doesn't have to work until late. Recordemos que cuando hablamos de the group es algo singular, right? Por eso tenemos doesn't, que es para la, los singulares, y luego la estructura tiene que ir en forma original. ¿Por qué? Porque ya el auxiliar está haciendo la acción del singular. Entonces ya no hay necesidad de colocar has to, sino que va en modo original. It goes like this. Y eso sería entonces el desarrollo del ejercicio. Good. Antes que nos vayamos, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta? Any question, guys, that you might have related to this? ¿Alguna duda con relación a la estructura? No. Ok. No question, teacher. Perfect. No question for class. Perfect. A question. Teacher, a question sobre plataforma, no me dijeron nada. No le mandaron, eh, voy a mandar de nuevo entonces el mensaje porque me, me contestaron y me dijeron que se iban a poner en contacto con usted, pero si no lo hicieron ahora, lo van a hacer mañana entonces, ¿ok? Teacher, teacher. Hello. Yo también, a, a mí no me, no puedo entrar a la plataforma. El Hoy estoy intentando... Va, perfecto, voy a pasar también el reporte entonces que no puede entrar porque pasé el de parrilla. Prenda, ok, y voy a, voy a pasar el suyo entonces, también. Porfa. Ok, porfa. 
Ok, problem. Espero que eh, eh, a más tardar mañana pueda, pueda darse la solución ahí. Ok, very good. Ok, okay great. Guys, guys, guys. Uh, Selina Janet, comencemos con la asistencia. Selina, se nos fue Selina. Se nos volvió a ir, Selina. Ok. Se nos volvió Selina no presenta. Ya. Cristian Eduardo. All right, so Cristian is not here also. Se reportan los sobrevivientes mañana. <laughs> Cabal. Denis Gerardo. Sí. <laughs> Okay. Ay, Brenda. Okay. No sabe ni de qué. Diana Carolina. Pues sí, usted. Brenda, haga la pregunta. <risa> ah, sí, teacher. No, mejor ah, no, pues... no, mañana. En privado. Sí, <risa> No, ok. Ahí está viendo, anda Soli, mala onda. Diego. <risa> Present. Ok, good. Y el chicken uh... leader también. Edwin Ernesto. Chicken Little. Ok, good. Edwin Leonel. Present. Ok, very good. So in this case, let me see. Is Christian here? No. Right. I know. Denise. Are you there, Denise? Okay. Give me one second. Diana. Es que necesito ver quién está para, que, eh, para el feedback, pero creo que todos ellos están. Ok, Diego. Ok, Diego, uh, can you stay with me for a couple of minutes extra after the class, please? For the feedback. ¿Se podría quedar un par de minutos después de la clase, por favor? Para el efecto de feedback. Porque los demás no están. Please, all right. Present, teacher. Ok, so Evelyn mm -hmm. del Carmen. Griselda. Present. Ok, Griselda Jamilet. Right, so Griselda está aquí, pero no sé, nunca habló. A uh, Jorge Antonio. Present. Ok, Karen Lisette. Right, so it's not here. Carla Patricia. Present. Ok. Luis Humberto. Present. Ok, nice. Norma Jamilet. Present. Ok. Paulina Olimpia. Present. All right. Present. Ronald Ulises. <laughs> ok. Present. There you go. Uh, Sonia Guadalupe. All right, Sonia is not here. Walter Enrique. Ok. Uh, Wendy Beatriz. Present. Ok, nice. Yanira Isabel. Ahorita yo que le Ah, ok, ok. And... Se acabó la cora de carga. <laughs> Okay. And Brenda Elizabeth. Present. Okay, there you go. Thank you for getting connected, guys. And let's see you tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful night. Buenas noches. Nos vemos mañana, okay? Bye, guys. Los que sobrevivan mañana y se reportan. Calle de Brenda. Bye, Brenda. Bye, mañana, mañana van a remenir el palo. Mañana van a sacudir el tapejo, pollos. Brenda, ahí, ahí investiga lo que le dije y me, nos, nos, nos informa. Ok, ya le voy a decir. Ya le voy a decir. <risa> Good night, guys. All right, bye, guys. Bye. 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 I'm just gonna stay with uh I said I, I think it was Diego. I think. Yeah.
Okay, so I'm just going to uh, put in the waiting room. All right, Diego. Okay. So, básicamente le, le pedí que se quedara este par de minutos adicionales para efectos de uh, retroalimentación personalizada. Entonces, what is this about? It's basically to clarify any question or doubt that you can have related to this class and the previous class, ¿ok? Entonces, básicamente es como para aclarar cualquier duda que pueda usted tener con relación a esta clase o class, la clase anterior, ¿ok? So, I don't know, Diego, if you have any question. Tenía duda del ejercicio 5. Ah, en la parte 5. Ok, vaya, no, básicamente. Yo le había puesto, yo le, yo le había puesto don. <ríe> ah, ok, there you go. Debo suponer que eh, igual a lo mejor es porque nos habíamos confundido con el, con el subject. Por la palabra grupo, quizá. Sería, bueno, un grupo ya, sí, claro. Ajá, exactly Entonces, cuando ya hablamos de algo singular Por lo general, si es negativo Vamos a utilizar en este caso doesn't right Eso sí, que cuando ya utilizamos doesn't Ya la estructura del have to Ya se coloca en modo original Right. Ya sería en modo original, no sería eh, modificado en tercera persona, ya no sería has to. Right. Por eso la regla por lo general va de subject plus doesn't, en este caso, have to. Y luego el main verb y al final el complement. Por eso es que teníamos en la, en la oración esa. The group doesn't have to. Luego no recuerdo qué era lo que decía. Give me one second. Work until late. Ah, work until late, right? Entonces, ok, you see, work until late. Entonces acá, porque acá el sujeto, el subject es singular, por eso es que tenemos doesn't, right? Si el sujeto acá se le agregará una S, ya se convertiría en algo plural. Entonces acá, sí, ya no sería doesn't. ¿Sería? ¿Qué sería en ese caso? No. No. All right, exactly. So in that case, ya sería don't, right? Entonces ahí, eso es como lo que hay que, uh, digamos, tener en cuenta, right? El sujeto más que todo, the subject. Acá básicamente en la... En la, en, la, en la oración, right? So that's the reason why. Y acá igual, no hay que, eh, digamos que, si acá tenemos tercera persona, no hay que colocar has acá, porque vi algunos acá que igual tenían la estructura doesn't, pero al final acá tenían has to también. No, y cuando acá el auxiliar va modificado en tercera persona, ya la estructura que le sigue va en forma base, va en forma original. Esto sea tercera persona. Exactly. Eso más que todo solo pasa en tercera persona, right? Por ejemplo, eh, mencioneme una obligación que usted tiene. En primera persona. Llegar temprano al trabajo. Ok. Llegar temprano al trabajo. Yeah. Entonces yo puedo decir, Diego has to, en esto en una oración positiva, has to be early at work. All right? Uh, Diego tiene que estar temprano en el trabajo, right? Eso es en positivo. Ok, entonces, si ve acá, yo no llevo ningún auxiliar, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de una oración positiva. Ahora bien, en una oración negativa, ¿cómo diríamos entonces? Diego, a ver, ayúdeme. Yeah. All right. Doesn't. Exactly. Diego doesn't. Uh, 
to uh -huh. the uh -huh. early at work. Exactly. At work. Entonces, si puede observar, básicamente es la misma estructura que tenemos en, en el ejemplo anterior, right? So, Diego, en este caso es una tercera persona, right? Doesn't. Este auxiliar está haciendo la acción de la tercera persona y por ende ya la estructura tiene que ir en forma base. Ya no sufre ninguna modificación. Entonces, así es como funciona entonces, digamos, el uso del singular en negativo. En plural es que ya no. don't, don't have to. Exactly. Ya en plural ya es don't have to. Por ejemplo, si yo digo Diego and uh, what? María, por ejemplo. Diego and María. Aquí hablo de dos personas, right? Ya no es un singular, sino un plural. Entonces acá ya diría don't, like this. Diego and María don't, don't have to you see, be early at work. Entonces acá ya usamos don't, right? Y la estructura se mantiene igual en forma base. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre primera y tercera persona? O plurales, que acá el auxiliar es el que va a predominar. Doesn't para singulares, don't para primera persona y, y plural. All right. So, básicamente, esa es la forma, entonces, como nosotros podemos identificarlos. Eh, otra manera más sencilla es como seguir la regla que les, que les di en la presentación. Entonces, ese es como el método a seguir, right, para poder realizar oraciones de manera eh, correcta. No sé si la, si la, si la copió. Sí. Oh, perfecto. Igual voy a mandar la presentación al, al, al grupo, así para que todos la puedan tener, inclusive los que no, no, no estuvieron en la clase esta noche. All right. Sí, tomé. Ah, a screenshot. Ah, ok, very good. Perfecto. No sé si hay algo más que en lo que podamos tener dudas, Diego. Solamente tenía dudas en eso. Uh -huh. ah. No quedaba claro. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. ¿Usted sí ya tiene acceso a la plataforma? Sí, no he tenido problema al entrar. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, me alegra escuchar eso. All right, entonces, pues, ya no le quito más su tiempo, entonces, y, pues, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? En la siguiente videoconferencia. Uh, thank you, teacher. Ok, good. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.